More than 670,000 companies will be delisted from the data of the Registrar General by close of the year. Now, the affected companies have not updated the organizational data as required by law. The delisted companies will not be able to do any business in Ghana until after 12 years. Some of the companies have been delisted for being dormant from as far back as 1963. For others, they have failed to renew or update their records. The Registrar General said between 1963 and 2011, 740,000 companies were registered. Out of this, only 7,345, representing 10%, consistently filed their annual returns. Filing of annual returns is mandatory in Section 122, Clause 1 and 2 of the Companies Act 1963, Act 1179. It mandates a company to file annual returns 18 months after incorporation and once at least in every year thereafter. The Registrar General Jumai Mawari says companies risk deletion if they don't comply by end of the year. I have about uh, possibly 600,000 of those businesses not having done any re-registration. And what it means to me then is that you don't exist. I'm kick-starting the provisions in the new act where I'll put out notices, put the names of these businesses out, asking you, come back to me within two months and let me know whether you are still doing business in Ghana. If after two months you don't come back, I'll put out another notice, give you another two months. If after that fourth, second notice you don't, I'll give you the third notice. But that third notice will give you within three months within which you should update me on the company. If you don't do that, then I'll strike it off. Any anomalies during registration will be corrected, but failure to do so by the end of the year would require a penalty which will increase from 400 to 450 cities by June. She was speaking at a stakeholders forum on the implementation of the new Companies Act organized by the Ghana Association of Restructuring and Insolvency Advisors, Garia. President of Garia, Dr. Felix Adu, is optimistic the new Companies Act will ensure transparency and help with ease of doing business. You have to file returns which show exactly who the ultimate owner of your shares are, whether it's in Ghana or registered offshore, regardless of where they are, it has to be disclosed. And this is part of the uh, bid to curb corruption and fight um, anti-terrorism, financing, and money laundering. Okay, the world is not a global place. What happens elsewhere affects us almost instantaneously. The 2019 World Bank Ease of Doing Business ranks Ghana 114 out of 190 countries in the world.